Greetings, friends, and welcome to Dark and Disturbed Tales. I am your host, Beatles Fanais. Tonight's story, The Forest of Laughter. There once was a small forest nearby a small village that the locals called the Forest of Laughter. It was an attraction for many of the villagers' children to go and spend their days playing in the forest till sunset, while the adults were working in the fields. It got that name because sometimes, if the wind was right and the ground was calm, you could hear children's laughter coming from these woods. The younglings were usually found playing in a naked small field that was located in the middle of the forest that villagers referred to as the oak field. It was covered with short, moist grass that always felt like it was coated in a morning dew and it stayed that way even on the hottest days. At the center of the field, there was this old, thick, branched oak tree. It had many carvings of children's names on its trunk. Some cuts were so deep that the sap from the oak never stopped bleeding, as the wounds were too deep to heal. The villagers, both young and old, loved the forest for what it provided to the little community. On one of the sunsets, however, a villager's daughter, Gloria, an eight-year-old with a yellow dress, didn't return from the forest as usual. When the other kids came back from it, all were asked by the worried father if they'd seen her, his daughter, Gloria. They all just nodded their heads. The countrymen gathered the torches and began to search. They searched the whole forest. Throughout the night and the next day, inch by inch, but the girl was never found. A few days later, when the search was over, to the surprise of the villagers and the mourning father, the little girl, Gloria, emerged from the woods right before the sunset. The strangest thing was that the girl was happy and laughing as if nothing bad had happened. When asked where she was those past few days, she simply shrugged her shoulders and said, I was playing with the kids. A few days later, the daughter's father decided to go into the forest alone. While the girl was sleeping at home, he took his torch and went into the woods as the sunset light had scorched the sky with its reddish tint. As he reached the oak field, he noticed a small silhouette resting on the grass. Its back leaned to the old oak once he reached the silhouette, the light of the torch revealed something that made the man paralyzed for a moment. It was a corpse of a little girl in a yellow dress. Above her head, on the oak's trunk, there was a fresh carving from which the sap continued to bleed out. It read, Gloria. Once he saw it, his horrified eyes stared back to the direction of the village as he silently asked himself, Who is she? As the sun completely set and the red sky turned black, you could hear the children's laughter from the forest as it took another prey.